Hey guys, so we got some sad news regarding Arrow that Bentley Bet Ricard, who plays Felicity, will not be returning for Arrow Season 8. She just posted on Instagram, she posted this photo and she also posted uh, this caption saying that uh, the time has come to talk about many memes of bows and arrows and superheroes and Felicity and queens. And then why and why GA is so damn hot and yes, canaries need more scenes. But wait just one minute. Before we go and do all that, for this makes me out of breath to not to have to this not small chat. Felicity and I are are very tight too, but after one through seven, we will be saying goodbye to you. Thank you for all the time we've shared and the elevators we've have climbed together. We've climbed in the monsters. We have faced and scared through the burgers we have dined and we and I will keep her in my heart for always and hope that you can too because she would not be alive if it weren't for all of you. Love, Felicity, and me. <clears throat> for me, I, I'm, I'm kind of... First, you know, I guess so many emotions are coming out with seeing this. It's just... She's been around for such a long time, like she like first appeared like that first or fifth or early on in the first season, right? So she's been around for the whole time. She's the the she's the Allison Mack, the the Chloe Sullivan of, of this the show and stuff. And I think it's really such a interesting character and this the, with the show ending and stuff and it. It just gets me frustrated that there's only doing 10 more episodes left and she couldn't want bother to come back to do that. So I just want to jump, get to, I guess my emotions get me too quickly to jump and just be like, why is she not just coming back for 10 episodes, you know, to, to end the show properly, right? Why end so early? Just, you know, it just kind of frustrates me. Now, if she had gone and told the direct, told the people involved, the writers, you know, that uh, she wanted to end, she wasn't going to sign up for the season eight, even at the beginning uh, of season seven. Okay. But to me, this just sounds like it comes at a kind of a all of a sudden at this point. So I, I don't know. So we'll have to wait and see as to kind of th see as to how things go with this. Um, but it's just like, why not? Why couldn't you just wait to do a comeback for the 10 episodes and then be like, yeah, I'm going to hang up the bow too. I'm going to hang it up. I'm not going to do the, be around anymore. I'm not going to be appearing here and there. So I, I, we'll have to wait and see as to how things go with this ending, how they, end, how they kind of end her time on as the arrow um, but she's straight up married to the main lead how are we going to what are we going to do they're going to get a divorce is she going to die you know if they have it already pre-planned out and it's going to be okay okay if we get a good ending but it just seems a bit weird to have have this end and then have another ending with you know potentially oliver queen dying in, in crisis on infinite earth uh you know it, it, you know to not have felicity be there to to witness that you know, it's, it's going to take away so much of that, you know. Um, so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this. But hopefully, if she's not in this episode, she's not coming back. Like she'll be finishing season seven. But if she's not uh, going to come back to uh, for season eight, hopefully they can bring her back maybe for the last episode of season uh of season eight, because I think it would be really interesting if, however, things end in, uh, you know, Crisis on Infinite Earth, you know, Oliver sacrificing himself and all that stuff, since he's foreshadows that in the uh, Crisis on Earth X and stuff, and the, or no, the Elseworld uh, crossover, when he foreshadows that and talks to the, the Monitor and all that stuff. Um, I think that could be an interesting ending where he goes into the void, goes into whatever, and he sees Felicity there with his, her hand open, inviting him to take the sacrifice and come live, live with him. And she's kind of, you know, bringing him in. If he does die type thing, they can meet in the afterlife. I think that could be an interesting way to kind of end the, that journey with the two of them. Um, so we'll have to wait and see as to kind of where things kind of go with this. But I'm just kind of disappointed, you know, 10 more episodes she, you know maybe she heard and she said someone told her they told her all oh, you know all uh steven amell wants to end it we're only going to do 10 episodes she didn't be like oh well then i'll just come back for those two episodes those 10 episodes if you want to just do that and end it you know so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this uh, i'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt but uh hopefully they have this all um you know fingers crossed they have this all pre-planned out and she's not just kind of springing this on people at the last minute hopefully they told her a long time ago and we can see that ending because right now so far where we're at on, on the show there is no foreshadowing of her being this this being her last season or anything like that so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go but this gets me kind of a little bit scared with this um and it's not just going to be like oh 
we have to kill you off in like a few episodes uh, okay you know and that's how it comes out hopefully the writers were not surprised with this news so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video peace out Thank <laughs> you.